Heavyweight Showdown between Tony Ferguson and Donald Cerrone. Well, don't count him out, and if you're a matchmaker, you can always count on him. Here's the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, challenged for the UFC lightweight title, but now plying his trade in the welterweight division where he has been all systems go. Donald Cerrone working his way towards a welterweight title shot. This is a man who answers the bell every time the UFC calls a guy that they have leaned on in a lot of big spots. Cerrone perpetually has a knack for coming through. Cerrone is very dangerous on the feet or on the ground. Solid Muay Thai, great submissions, and he's a very hard worker. He's been taken to the limit several times in championship bouts, and there is no quit in this guy. the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. Of course, it was a devastating knee injury that prevented him from making the walk against Khabib Nurmagomedov early in 2018. But Tony Ferguson is undeterred as he gets back to the task at hand here tonight. He believes one win could put him exactly where he wants to get. He said, certainly a finish would be useful, but I gotta find a way to get my hand raised one way or another here tonight. One thing to look out for from him is his low kicks. He throws them with devastating power. And if you can't defend against them, he will kick the legs right out from under you. It doesn't take too many before you start to lose speed and punching power. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Cerrone is one year his senior. He is two inches taller. Ferguson will have the three-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins. Our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Cucuy. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times, defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's First about to go down right go. now. And at long last, we are underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Well, what a shocker. Donald Cowboy Cerrone is fighting tonight. Seemingly ends up on every UFC card, the most active fighter on the roster. And we've really seen a transition of his game since he moved up to 170 pounds. If a takedown opportunity materializes tonight, don't be surprised to see Cowboy jump all over. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here? Early? Donald Cerrone's use of the knee, both in an offensive and a defensive way, is some of the best in the entire lightweight division. Oh! He's caught! Cerrone's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. 
Just over three minutes to go. How about that shoot? Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Just out of range with that right hand. He might get a finish here. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, and my God. He'll do it. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission. And once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here's the end of the fight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Mario Bruce Buffett. Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest. At two minutes, 37 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Tony Ferguson! Well, what else can you say about Tony Ferguson? Came in with the longest winning streak in lightweight history and only extends it here tonight. This is a finisher of the highest order. Switches stances beautifully, all pressure all the time. And he's so unorthodox, you don't really know what's coming. All you know is that it's going to be nonstop aggression for 25 minutes or fewer. Tony Ferguson.